Hi guys, Matt from Growth Derex. So I'm here at South Hall CrossFit, and I'm here with Coach Jess. Coach Jess is having an issue with her shoulder. So Coach, tell us about it. Yeah, so um, past couple of years, um, anytime I'm either like a coach bar, gymnastics, and um, even sometimes a push up, I'm starting to feel a little pain in the front part of my shoulder, and then I get a lot of irritation and um, kind of back behind my right shoulder. So with the issue that Coach Jess is having, what we wanted to do is we wanted to take a look at her shoulder in those activities of which we're giving her an issue. So first, we got her into the toaster bar and we watched her do her toaster bar and she did multiple repetitions and we watched from behind to check and see what was the activation like in her shoulder and in her scapula to see how it was moving and how it was rotating. Then we checked from the front to see how is she activating her core and her front shoulder joint and as well looking for some tension in her neck. So the first thing that I wanted to test is I wanted to see if she was experiencing any scapular dyskinesis. Scapular dyskinesis is when the shoulder is not rotating very well at that scapular thoracic joint, which is your shoulder blades rotation on your rib. So let's check out and see what Justice looks like. So if you notice while we look, notice the differences in the movement here of her shoulder blade. Notice how here, this one moves a lot quicker in terms of its movement up rather than this one, and it lags behind in terms of the descending and that downward rotation. All right, so with Coach Jess's issue with scapular dyskinesis, what we need to do is we need to change the neuromuscular involvement of those muscles that are gonna rotate her scapula. So the way that we're gonna work with this as she's a CrossFit athlete is we wanna get her in a position of which she's going to be active and used in her athletic event, which is gonna be a higher position. So we're gonna go with a high pull position into an external rotation, which will get those muscles activated. So we're gonna work very purposefully on the sequencing of the muscle activation. So if I go over here with Jess, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first, she's going to activate the shoulders back, then she's gonna perform her high pull, and now she's gonna perform the external rotation, and then she's gonna reverse that. Out, let the pull go, and now let the shoulder blades go. Try a couple more reps. Yeah. Perfect. So, just like that, they're kind of robotic, but purposely we're trying to get those muscles activated in the right sequence, and that's super important in this exercise and all the exercises that we're gonna do to help facilitate that neuromuscular connection. So next we wanna check and see how her serratus anterior activation is when she's in her movement. So just go ahead and turn around so that you're back to see the camera. Okay, we're gonna raise this arm up, and what we're looking to see is what does this scapula do when I apply some pressure to bring it down? And see how the edge and the border comes out like that? What that tells me is that her serratus is not engaging really well in terms of when she gets that stress on the shoulder. So we need to work that serratus. So we're here at the rigging, and Coach Jess is gonna do some scapular push-ups, but we're gonna do them at the rigging because this angle at the rigging is gonna get enough of her body weight onto her serratus to challenge it without causing her to compensate by using her upper trap or any of the other muscles in her shoulder. So let's go ahead and try a few. So she places her hand on the rigging, she brings that shoulder back and then pushes the shoulder forward, always keeping that shoulder blade down and then pushing through, trying to rotate that shoulder underneath, like scooping it under to push it forward. In this exercise, Jess is gonna take the PVC pipe, keeping her arms straight. She's gonna start bringing up, bringing her shoulders into flexion. Just before 90 degrees, she's gonna hold and then she's gonna push her shoulders forward, wrapping those shoulder blades around her rib cage, and then keeping them wrapped, she's gonna bring it up higher and try to bring it to full flexion. And then back down again and repeat. Push forward, there you go. Driving that shoulder blade underneath, just like that. Good. And down. 
Perfect. So all of these exercises would be good to do for about 30 reps, maybe 45. We're, again, we're looking for a neuromuscular connection. So most of these, what we're looking for is to activate it again and again and again and again, doing it properly for repetition, because we want a good movement pattern. We don't necessarily want you to gain strength in these. We want you to activate the muscles in the correct sequence. Thanks.